Oh, what are you doing to my body? Welcome back to Game of Thrones. Looks like this one's gonna be a gruesome one. Uh, what are you cutting? Are you amputating stuff? Don't amputate my stuff. My lord, you should not be awake. Well, oh, oh, the milk of a puppy. Drink. Uh. Calm now. Uh, uh. Oh, Aster knows that's... best. Roderick! My lady! <laughs> I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. <laughs> Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Let's all live. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. I didn't know I'd have a scene. I, this is not a good time for milk of the poppy, man. Could you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep. I've had a rough night. How much of me is left? Okay, I see one leg. <laughs> that just <laughs> took you quite a bit to react to that. Morning, Talia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think oh, I've lost oh. you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. No, I do not. How bad is it? Come on, let's see. Mr. Uh, Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. I have both legs, though, so I am able to walk. And your face. Oh, yeah, I'm fucked up all seven kinds. I look half as bad as I feel. Well... At least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. Unlikely, he's still in the show. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. I can't sing. <laughs> you can, Talia. I know you can. Who's laughing during my scene? It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal. But I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. I don't know, do we have a half-giant around? <clears throat> I missed you, brother. Can you get me a cane? You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. 
Must get up. Blake may never heal my ass. Okay. Well, that went about as well as I expected. I'm fine. Do you have a medieval wheelchair? Are those even invented yet? We have wheels, you know. Can I get a wheelbarrow or something? Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Yes, let's go already. That's it. I'm alive, which is a lot more than I expected from the first episode. I'm I'm doing Everyone will be so just glad great. to see you up. Though I think you'll find that much has changed. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Hello up there! Oh, I'm just looking. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Hello up there! The wall. Always wanted to see it. But not like this. Yeah, not working there. Great place Return to visit, to but... <laughs> Gosh. Don't want to be part of any of this. Well, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm supposed to return it, right? Am I moving? Come on, let's go. This is important. I'm I'm glad that I get to control this part. You arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Is the thief I let go here? I wonder. Don't have to be rude. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Oh, it's the, my mouse! My mouse is the wrong one! Okay, there we are. I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. Well, we are Game they of Thrones nice. characters. That's and not so we're good at the wall, here. so. We're the first on the chopping block. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. Use stairs, really? Oh, well, that's what they call him Frostfinger. Sup, bro? Hi, I'm here. I'm the recruit. <coughs> you just ahemmed. You didn't say anything. You come. 
You That's trade. weird, the subtitles had but stuff. You die. Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tuttle. I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? Do you have a problem with me? Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House With Forrester. everyone? My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Then what's the problem? You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Do you have a problem with killing? Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. You are very unpleasant to talk to. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. I knew it. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. You're very unpleasant to hang around. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... Slaver's Bay? I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Well, won't this be a shock Fill to me you? Up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Well, Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrester's Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, give it a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Don't mess with me, man. I've had a rough day. Oh, uh, what do you want? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Stop smirking! Oh, um... You death. This is not a good place to pick a fight or a good situation. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs or this house? I am the lord of this house and you will move. Go on then, my lord. I'm gonna kill all of you in the night. Or send someone else to do it. Let's get Asher to do it. <sighs> Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like The yes. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. So I'm a son inheriting lordship over a house. They thought I would be dead for sure, but I lived. Roderick. Though I'm crippled. Sounds familiar. My boy. I'm a parallel to Bran... 
Garrett's a parallel to Jon Snow, and Mira's a parallel to Sansa. Come, join us. And Asher is Danny. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Ethan sat here not so long ago. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead. And Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Enough! Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. Yeah, your marriage. wedding. <laughs> well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. Yeah! Sounds like a plan. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Yeah, great to be here. Wonderful situation, but... Oh. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Since when did we ha How did we get blue fire? How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. Suck it up! You have one job! You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Alright, now where are we going with this? About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. Ah. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Ah, yeah, maybe we can bring her into the plot. I don't know. Probably. Next time on Game of Thrones.